Hello and welcome everybody to another video on TD Productions. Hope everyone's doing well. Again, sorry if content's been rather quiet on the channel. I know not a lot has happened in about two weeks. Yeah, time has to be on my side. Hopefully some videos will come out, especially coming up on the Wednesday. But anyway, to talk about some very upsetting news, and it, it did surprise me. It's quite upset me a lot, this news. It's with great sadness that we've lost one of the greats when it comes to Doctor Who and Big Finish. Sadly, Trevor Baxter has passed away. Trevor Baxter is quite big in my eyes and a lot of people as well. And I, I want to make a video and talk a little bit about Trevor Baxter. Yeah, he was an actor and a playwright, but he was well known for the role, of course, Lightfoot in the brilliant story known as The Talents of Wayne Cheyenne to end the Philip Hinchcliffe era. And everyone knows that this features the two brilliant supporting characters of Jago and Lightfoot, Christopher Benjamin and Trevor Baxter. You know, it's a very difficult call for someone to make when picking a favourite from, uh, from the Philip Hinchcliffe era, but this one is my favourite. And one of the reasons why people love this story so much is because of Jago and Lightfoot. It has become so well-known characters and so well-known and so popular that Big Finish made their own spin-off series and it became such a big success and one of the most praised spin-off series with Doctor Who. What worked so well with Jago and Lightfoot in the story was their chemistry, their interactions. That's why people love these two characters so much because they just bounce off each other so well. And yeah, from when The Mahogany Murderers was recorded and planned out, uh, Christopher Benjamin and Trevor Baxter were in contact with each other. And, yeah, the Mahogany Murderers was released May 2009 and the series has been so successful and, and it's lasted for eight years. When this story was recorded, you know, they were just such great friends. And to anyone who hasn't listened to The Mahogany Murderers or even watched The Talents of Wayne Cheyenne or experienced the Jacob and Lightfoot series at all, then I seriously insist you must because again captures what Talents of Wayne Chang did, the Mahogany Murderers. Their chemistry is just wonderful, interactions are great and just alone that is just perfect because not only their performances are great, the interaction and the chemistry with the stories as well. And the main Jago and Life at series is hit series 13 and that is a massive success. I and a lot of people adore this series and if you don't know this is my favourite Big Finish release of all time. I cannot express how much I love this one. It's funny, it's tense, chemistry is beautiful, and all the stories are great. Life and Sanders is a really creepy horror story with one great villain. Necropolis Express is dark. The Theatre of Dreams is a real creative one by Jonathan Morris. I cannot express how much I love this box set. I've listened to it. I've lost count actually how many, how many times I've listened to it, but like flipping adore it. And it is my favourite range releases from Big Finish. I was aware that Trevor Baxter had health deterioration and some health issues and whatnot, but what kept him going was the Jago and Lightfoot series, recording these stories for Big Finish and working again with Christopher Benjamin. Trevor Baxter loved working big finish in doing these Jago and Lightfoot stories because I'm not sure if he said this um, but I believe he said I wish Jago and Lightfoot could last for like 50 box sets or something like that. He said that because he just wanted to express how much he loved recording Big Finish and doing these Jago and Lightfoot stories with Christopher Benjamin. And again 13 box sets that is a magnificent achievement again sad to see it and I, I think everyone would want this series to last forever because everyone would love this series to just go on and on and on. Though, series 13 feels like a fitting end, actually. You know, the silence of the range does confirm that no more, no more box sets, and I think series 13 ends it well because, you know, the 40th anniversary of Jago and Life that short trip release, two parts, that celebrated it very well. And series 13 of Jago and Life that I did a lot of nods and references to the talons of Wayne Chiang, like the giant rat for example in the third story, a lot of references to Magnus Greel, and Series 13 really did you know, show 
how much the events of the Talons of Wayne Cheyenne affected the characters of Jago and Lightfoot. So, yes, I would say Jago and Lightfoot Series 13 is a very fitting end for the series. You know, the silence confirms that, you know, there's no Series 14. And I would not want Trevor Baxter to, you know, record another one if his health was in a bad state. You know, I say, no, don't do it. I would only want Christopher Benjamin and Trevor Baxter to record the Big Finish audios of Jago and Lightfoot series if they were happy to do it and were in the condition to do so. If they weren't in the condition to do so, I wouldn't want them to. But yeah, Trevor Baxter, he's left a lovely legacy behind him. He will definitely be remembered for the talents of Wayne Chan. Just such an iconic story, and I feel like watching it today, I do. To pay respect to, you know, Trevor Baxter. And I know a few other people, and a few people who I know, have met Trevor Baxter and Christopher Benjamin. I will never experience meeting the both of them. And yeah, he will be remembered for the wonderful Jago and Lightfoot series. Again, I'm definitely more pushing myself now to do my plan to overview the entire series of Jago and Life because this definitely gives me the motivation to do it now, just to play lovely respect to Trevor Baxter and overview the entire series, rank all the box sets in order. Again, it's going to be really difficult, even though my number one is very obvious because I've said this is my favourite release of all time with Big Finish, so you know my number one, that's confirmed, but to rank all the box sets, I still am missing Series 9 though, so I need to pick that up at some point and then listen to them all in order as a huge marathon. It's um, definitely one great thing to do, it's just have a marathon of all the box sets, it's wonderful it is. So that's what I'm going to do, overview the entire range, rank all the box sets, also planning the top 10 Jacob and Lightfoot stories. Yeah, I don't think they just had a main series, they've done some you know, special releases as well, like two releases from the 4th Doctor Adventures with the Beast of Kravenos. Uh, what is it? Uh, Justice of Jauxar, Mind Games from the Worlds of Doctor Who, and Stage Fright from the Sixth Doctor Last Adventure. Yeah, I want to say a massive thank you to the people who worked on the Jago and Lightfoot series. The directors, the writers, Andy Lane, of course, putting up the Mahogany Murderers, Christopher Benjamin, of course, the wonderful Trevor Baxter, Lisa Bowman who played Ellie, Conrad Asquith, everybody, because if this series was not a thing, I think there'd just be something missing, there would be something missing from Big Finish. Yeah, very sad day, very sad news, and this one's hit me quite a little bit because I, you know, I just love the Jago and Lightfoot series, I love Trevor Baxter and Christopher Benjamin, and now the Jago and Lightfoot series, you know, has come to an end now. And it's still a huge achievement that they still had original ideas to the series 13 still made original ideas for the Jago and Lightfoot series. And as I said before, my favourite range by Big Finish. I always love revisiting them, re-listening to them. They never get dull, never get boring. That's one thing you can say about the Jago and Lightfoot stories. You listen to them over and over again and you just, they just won't lose what they have. Yes, to end this video, rest in peace to Trevor Baxter and his legacy of the Talents of Wen Chiang and the Jacob and Lightfoot series by Big Finesh will be remembered. Thank you.